So today I thought I'd show you all the bits that we use for weaning and luckily it's not as much as I thought which is quite good. So I'm going to start from kind of the cooking side of stuff because that makes sense in my brain to just start from like the beginning. Um, for context we have been weaning for two months so our little one is eight months now and we are doing a mixture of baby lead and purees although puree she's not a fan of so that's kind of we did do that at the beginning but we're not doing that anymore. Anywho so for the cooking side of it we bought a steamer because our steamer was on the way out and I secretly hated it and wanted a new one anyway. So got a new steamer um, and we luckily already had a Nutribullet for blending. We are no longer blending stuff or like, we're not pureeing stuff. So mashing it with a fork, like things like that, that's where we're at. So I was looking into slightly more expensive ones and then realized we had one, the Nutribullet in the garage anyway. So if I were to do it again, I wouldn't buy a big fancy, blender unless I needed it for something else because I'm surprised by how little I have used it now. And then once everything's cooked up, we are doing batch cooking as much as we can. So everything goes into the freezer. So this is our spare ice cube tray because it's one of the small ones. I'm not really a fan, um, but the silicone ones I find are the better ones. The, the one that we actually love is currently in the freezer being used and that's completely silicone. All of the recipes that I've used have had everything been put into kind of ice cube size portions. I prefer the big chunky ice cubes because when she's six months I can make small ones, when she's seven months I can make bigger ones and I can just use the same ice cube tray and it makes it a bit easier. And this one's cracked actually, we only use this once and this is, well we've used it a few times but it's cracked. So um, I would go silicon, so they go in the freezer. When they are done, we just bought, this is like our second bag full, we've bought loads of these reusable like freezer bags um, with labels on. It hasn't got a label, obviously, but they do have labels on. So we have got a freezer full of food at the moment. So I'm trying to actually slow down on the batch cooking so that I'm not like overwhelming the freezer because it's just baby stuff. There's nothing for me in there. It's really disappointing. So when we portion everything up, we put one portion in here and the rest in the freezer. And then when we get it out, whenever it's ready, we just put them in these ones. These are microwave safe. So we can either put these in the microwave or her bowl in the microwave. So that's kind of, that's kind of the cook inside of it, which isn't that much. So like ice cube tray, freezer, bag, and like a little pot. Should we do eating? Let's do eating. Um, so we bought a little set. <laughs> so this all came together in one big set and we've only used half of it so far. So we have not used the silicone mat and we have not used the cup with the straw and we have not used the cutlery and we have not used this portion size plate but we will use all of those things in the future so I'm not sort of worried that I've wasted my money. So we have two things from that whole set that we use and use quite a lot. The first is a bowl. We have a little suction thing on the bottom so it sticks to her tray. I've brought the tray up. So it sticks to the tray so that she's not gonna like mess it up but what she actually does do is like this she grabs it and slides it so we have yet to give her access to the bowl because we realized very quickly that wasn't going to be wise so this is where all of her food goes in and it's microwave safe as well so we'll either put her food in this in the microwave or in this in the microwave and just make sure obviously it's cooled down and um, for her to eat it so we use those every single day and then spoon wise we just haven't used the ones that came with the set because i've got these ones instead so these have got like a hard-ish plastic handle and but like a really like a bendy bit at the top and i really want wanted that one because I know what she's like and she chews everything so these just go in her mouth and she just properly like chews on that bit and I just didn't want her to hurt her gums so we've gone for these ones and we've got four of those and again that's been perfect so the things that she mostly eats with are literally just these or finger foods. For finger foods we just let her pop it on this tray we don't bother with the plate because <laughs> this is why um, it doesn't really fit in. Um, so if she having if she's having finger foods, we just whack it on this tray, um, and she can feed herself from there. And then we can just clean that afterwards. So we actually went through a couple of bibs. The first one is absolutely rubbish. It's waterproof on the back, and it's like meant to be wiped down, wiped clean. It's not. This is horrendous. Don't buy one like this. You will waste your time and you will waste your money. And the ones that we are using are these ones if we haven't used it too much so this is like a new sort of use use for us that makes no sense but you know what i mean we've only used this recently frequently because it's good for finger foods but if it's something that's a finger food but sticky or messy it gets everywhere on her arms so if it's something like a cucumber that she's unlikely to like smush all over herself that kind of thing works where or like a carrot whereas if it's something like i don't know potato clumps 
that kind of thing. She'll get in her mouth, it'll go on the side, she'll lean on it, she'll get it in her arms and then mess everywhere. So yeah, these ones, if we know it can be contained. Otherwise we have a Bibidoo, which I love, and it's wipe clean, it's washable, we've washed it so many times and it's great. There is like a 15 pound option, which is the one we got. There's also a 30 pound option, and I don't understand the difference, but the 15 pound one, brilliant. And we've only got one of those, and we just wash it once a week, and we wipe it down whenever we need to in between. It's just the bits in between the arms, where it's like the elastic, that just gets a bit mucky, and it's really hard to actually clean. Um, but they're like perfect. So the bits that are staying in the dining room are, we have a splash mat, um, and that is a really good one. It's a wipe clean one, and it's a non-slip one. I haven't yet tested the non-slip factor of it, but that's a really good one. And we were gonna kind of put it down and take it up. Nope, can't be bothered. It just is going to stay down the whole time, probably for years and years and years. Um, but yeah, that's staying down and that is really, really good. And then we actually don't have a high chair for her because we were going to get one. And I don't know which one I'm gonna get. And I've done my research, but we have a little chair for her that she's been using for a while now. And that is fine. She is a really good size for it and it's still got plenty of room to grow and there's inserts that can be taken out. And it comes with this tray which is detachable, so this is kind of where she eats off of if she's not using the bowl. So it's kind of perfect. So I'm not really sure when we're gonna buy a high chair, but I'm gonna try and hold out for November for Rack Friday and then see if I can save a little bit of money. And wipes, a million wipes. I almost forgot to mention her water cup. So this is just a little Tommy Tippy one with a spout and it's leak proof and this bit can come off and it can become a cup. I'm not gonna do that because I'll spill water everywhere. Um, but she loves this one because it's small enough um, that she can grab with two hands and just tip it back so here and she doesn't have to like go all the way back because some of the bigger ones she would struggle with or if we didn't fill it up enough, she would struggle. Um, but she actually can drink from this really well at the moment and it's just bonkers to see an eight month old just grab water and really, really like throw it back. Um, but yeah, so that one is perfect. We've only got one of these at the moment. We'll probably buy a second one because I'm sure there's gonna be a day when this breaks and gets thrown across the room, doesn't survive, and we need another one. So we'll probably get a second one of these soon. So the only other thing that I bought that I love at the moment is a weekly meal planner. And I say at the moment because I don't think I'm gonna be planning everything for a while, but it's only when I'm doing the weekly shop. We've got so much in the freezer at the moment that I'm trying to do a mix of using what's in the freezer and then cooking her something new like kind of once a week. So we still have more stuff going into the freezer, but hopefully more coming out of the freezer because we have so much in there at the moment. I don't want it to go bad. So you could obviously just use a piece of paper to plan everything. But the way my brain works is that I need to sit in a list. And oddly, we don't have much paper in the house because our printer is at work. So yeah, that is the only thing that I bought that's kind of definitely not essential at all, but it helps my brain to have it. But I hope that's everything and I hope I haven't forgotten anything. And obviously she's only eight months at the moment, but this has been everything we've needed to get started. And I'm sure there might be a few more bits that we add in terms of like Tupperware boxes to take stuff out of the house when she's a little bit older. But for now, this is everything we've needed. So hopefully that is an exhaustive list and that kind of helps you out if you're about to start weaning. And if you are, good luck, you can do this.